Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS version for this Dell Big Boy Precision 3660. We're going to do that using a USB flash drive. I have done a video in the past on which I show you how to, how to download the specific drivers and BIOS update if there is one for your specific model. You can click on the top right for the, of this screen for that video. Once you have the file, which is an EXE classic for Windows, you have to copy that file to a USB flash drive okay so this usb flash drive can be any size doesn't make a difference however it has to be formatted as fat32 to do that you can right click on the usb on windows format and you can select fat32 okay in this case this is the only file on this usb so once you have done that you connect it to any available port on the computer as you can see me doing right there allow me for seconds to adjust my camera i'm going to turn it on now and right away i'm going to start pressing f12 to get access to the boot menu on this machine once i'm there it's going to look like this your model depending what you have might be different but the concept is the same the options are going to be similar so you can see the model and the BIOS revision, which is the BIOS version, is now 213, as you can see at the top right. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to click on BIOS update at the middle right. Search from for and install the latest BIOS update from various services. So we click on that. It's going to take a few seconds and it's going to show us this. So system BIOS information, that's the model we have, the version or BIOS revision 213, the Dell model. And we're going to click on flash from file since we have a USB. And you're going to see all these letters, all this text uh, that looks like, um, like, I don't know, something not very uh, readable. But uh, what we have to look for is BIOS update at the bottom because that's the only file I, I have on this USB flash drive. So you click on that, it's going to take a few seconds and it's going to show you this, the file, Precision 3660 2.14, that's a new version, that EXE, okay? So to select it, you have to click on that and uh, you have to go to submit, but it's not going to work as you can see over here. If that happens to you because it doesn't happen all the time, you have to click on system volume information at the top and you have to and uh, what i did is uh, and i came back to where I, where I was so what you have to do is select the precision and make sure it's highlighted at the bottom as well as you can see here it was not like that before now you click submit and that's going to take a few seconds don't worry about that and we're going to go back to this at the top is what we currently have and at the bottom is what we are going to get the precision 3660 revision 214 okay so we're going to go to BIOS, uh, update BIOS. We'll, we click on that and it's going to tell us, you're going to update your BIOS. Do you want to do that? Yes, confirm update BIOS. So now the computer is going to restart. You don't have to do anything on this part, just wait. And after a few seconds, or let's say one minute, it's going to show us this, depending on the model that you have. And you can see it there, updating your firmware, do not power down your system. Flash progress is about 2%. And while we're waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. So this process on this model took around seven minutes. For you, it might take the same or a little less, depending on the model that you have. And the videos is sped up in this part, of course, so you don't have to wait all the real time so just make sure that to not uh, shut down your computer or reboot it or unplug the cable okay because that might render your computer unusable once it's ready to finish it's going to show you this bios update successful rebooting your system in this case i'm going to start pressing f2 on the keyboard as you can see over there so i can get access to the bios and verify that the upgrade has been successful so after a few seconds you're going to see this uh, the BIOS version depends on the model that you have. It looks different. And now we are going to go at the top. As you can see, Precision 3660, that's the model. And the BIOS version is now 214. In the past, we have 113. So the upgrade has been successful because there was a new version to upgrade to. So after you are done, you can uh, press Escape on the keyboard and the computer is going to restart itself. So this reboot might take longer than usual. In my case, it took around one minute or so. And after that, you should be at the front screen of the operating system that you have, whether it is Linux or Windows. Maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you, had, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.